okay uh, i'm not sure how much of it uh, you are able to see but uh, i've packed my bags uh, my camera equipment is all ready i've got the tripod so i'm heading right now to a location that i scouted a couple of days back uh, that's my money for the ticket i'm sorry my room is a mess right now but uh, i'm just uh, i just hope that i'm able to make there in time uh, so yeah that's my bag i got the tripod i just have to put on the shoes and i think uh, hopefully i'm not forgetting anything else uh, i've got this uh, keys and yeah i'm going to take you guys with me uh, i am off to a location that i scouted a couple of days back hopefully i'll be able to get some really good shots uh, some long uh, long exposure that i've been thinking of so i'll see you guys there when i'm at the location yep. Okay, so I'm on my way to the bus stop. Uh, I'm heading to the location. Uh, I'm not sure if I'd be able to reach there on time because uh, transit here could be a little challenging. I mean, it depends upon where you are living and where do you want to get to. That's the bus that just went to, uh, was to Bacheva. Um, because uh, it can get a little overwhelming to understand which bus what stop to get off and stuff like that but more than that uh, i think the island is well connected uh, except for certain areas uh, but anyway uh, the also important thing if you're traveling by transit over here is to have uh, the change with you the exact amount of change because uh, the bus fare is uh, 350 and uh, you have to carry the exact change uh, they don't have anything like a presto card over here which i really miss uh, just tap and go i wish that was the case uh, or maybe it is there i'm not aware if you guys know about it let me know in the comments uh, so that's uh, so yeah you basically need to carry the exact fare and uh, the other day a funny thing happened i was not carrying any change i had a 50 dollar bill with me and uh, i enter i got into the bus <laughs> and uh, i was the driver uh usually in the mini buses there are conductors but this was the big one so there was no conductor over there and um uh, the di- the the driver when he saw that uh, you know i've got a 50 dollar he's like oh god you know uh he was a little surprised uh, so but then he actually stopped the bus at a fuel station and uh, he asked me to go and get the change so i was able to break the change and uh, get 350 so again people are kind here so yeah but the point is make sure that you're carrying your change of three dollars fifty cent uh anywhere you're going you just make sure you're carrying the appropriate change for your bus fare yeah that's about it Hey guys, I'm back. Um I got home a couple of uh, I think probably around 20 25 minutes back. Um unfortunately I was not able to record any footage while I was over there. Uh I was really focused on uh, trying to make images over there and uh, I'm going to be talking about my entire experience about uh, what it was like, uh, what I did and stuff everything uh, around that. um but i'm also going to be making some dinner right now um so most probably you guys just going to see my back because uh, the lighting if i keep the camera over there the lighting is probably going to be really bad so or maybe i'm just going to give it a shot let me see how it's going to look like uh, yeah it's way too dark and i might have to rely on some sort of an external power uh to light up the subject which is me so i'm not going to do that uh, i have to make my dinner so anyway so i went there um uh, i think uh, you guys saw me i was talking about you know leaving uh, you guys were seeing me about leaving and trying to catch a bus so everything started oh fuck yeah, i kind of just had like a, anyway so everything uh, started off uh, with uh, me getting on to a wrong bus and um, yeah i mean that was kind of uh bad on me i didn't uh, really see or read the bus name but uh, yeah so i got on a wrong bus uh, thankfully you know i had to switch the bus but i was able to you know get on 
time i would say i mean it wasn't exactly time but i was uh, able to get to the location uh, thankfully pretty well uh, around the golden hour so after i went there um, i was uh, really struggling to what i would say is uh, find a good composition uh, i mean it was the first time i uh, before the you know this moving to bablos i had bought uh, like a new tripod and had uh, you know not obviously didn't have time to uh, try it out so it was a new tripod uh, i also bought like a couple of filters so i was using a variable nd filter that i bought uh, so again i did not have time to test that out before moving here so it was directly on the location and uh, as you you know as i mentioned earlier i was probably you know running late and um, you know just behind the schedule when it comes to trying to capture the golden hour uh so i eventually reached that i switched two buses um and uh, got to the destination uh got to the venue of course i had to walk a little bit but uh, after i got there i was really you know struggling with the composition uh i was not able to find any good composition um so i tried out with uh, both the lenses i uh, the tamron 1530 as well as uh, the nikon 2470 uh i did uh, you know kind of produce a few shots but again uh, you know i've not had a chance to review it uh, i'd probably be only be able to review it uh, you know after i have my dinner and i'm really excited about that uh, i can't really comment about how you know exactly the shots are how they have turned out but uh, it's it's going to be interesting but that's the thing about landscape photography right um, you know you go you have certain locations uh but you have to keep yourself really open you know everything is at the hand of uh, its nature uh everything is you know you 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 basically plan everything but uh, there's never a guarantee that you would produce a good shot uh i did shoot a few long exposures uh but again i it's not you know exactly what i was looking for um uh i wouldn't call them you know probably like my best shots but uh, anyway i'm definitely going to work on them uh and see how it pans out uh, the post processing is going to be fun on those images uh and hopefully you know i might have a photo that i can be proud of uh, that can go into my portfolio so let's see how that goes uh, so i'll see you guys in a uh probably when i'm uh, you know on my system trying to post produce and just review all those images in depth so i'll see you guys later uh right now i'll just you know go ahead and make like a good dinner definitely going to need a beer to cool off after the evening that i spent uh so yeah i'll see you guys while i'm having my dinner or maybe right when i'm reading the images all right thanks bye So I am right now on my system uh, reviewing all the images that I shot and um, as I had mentioned earlier during uh, while I was just making my dinner I was really struggling to find a composition on the location for the image um, that I wanted to shoot so essentially in the post production what I've done is um I have kind of cropped an image which kind of gives away like it has got a decent composition but again um I wouldn't call it one of my best images So while I was at the location, what I did was I shot different exposures. With um, as you can see that the rock over here that was within the sea, that was my primary subject. Uh, so I shot two different exposures. One with the rock in focus, uh, wherein uh, this was my main subject, and the other exposure or the other image that I shot was with the sky in um, as the sky in the uh, focus, right? Um, the idea was basically to blend in two different images uh with uh, one focusing on the sky and one focusing on the rock over here and uh, blend in both of these images so that's exactly what i've done in the post production uh, i've blended in both these images to kind of give like a subtle a uh, good look and uh, which kind of seems like a little bit of pleasing when it comes to the aesthetics um again this is not my best composition of the images that i've shot again I, i i would probably rate this image as probably one of my one star images because i frankly don't find the composition very appealing 
Uh, sure, there are certain colors that would capture the viewer's attention, uh, but um, again, I personally would not, as a photographer, I would not be very pleased with it. Um, yeah, the only composition that kind of currently suits me is, in a way, I would call it a rule of thirds. As you can see, <coughs> as you can see, the sky probably occupies, um, you know, uh, the one fourth of the frame, and remaining thirds of the frame is occupied by the sea and the rock over here. But again, the subject is uh, not very aesthetically placed uh, within my frame and the overall composition. So this is what I have in the image. Uh, this is what I've managed to compose. Uh, again, uh, as I mentioned, I would I would be putting out uh, the exit details in the comments in the description. Uh, this was shot at, um, this was a long exposure shot. I had shot this using a Hoya filter for a long exposure. It was a variable ND filter. And uh, I will definitely put out all the details in the description or maybe while you guys take a look at the, this particular image.